Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com. Today I've got a first look at the Amazon App Store for Android. So Amazon's competition to the Android market was released earlier today and already Apple is up in arms. Now the reason for that is Amazon's App Store is named App Store, all one word. Apple's App Store is named App Store, two words. For more details on that, head over to pocketnow.com. But today what I want to show you is kind of a first look at the Amazon App Store itself. So if you take a look, first of all, you've got a very Amazon-like icon. You tap it and you open it up. And first thing you're going to notice is compared to the, uh, the new Android market, the one that has the big green swooshy up on top, this opens very, very quickly, which is something I really like. The next thing is it features the title, very small. It takes up relatively little screen real estate when you first look at it. More on that in just a minute. It also has a search bar uh, kind of prominently displayed. I think they could have done this with just a little magnifying glass icon off to the side and saved that entire space right there, but even still, Next, let's move down. Something that I don't know if they're going to keep, it looks like they probably are, is a paid app for free every day. Now, I don't know if this is a, a promotional thing that's gonna last for the first so many days that they're open, or if this is something they're going to do all the time. It kind of makes sense from a marketing perspective to say, hey, we have paid apps, we have free apps, but come and get a free app by checking the market, uh, or in this case, the app store every day, it kind of drives traffic, you know, gets people using your app store rather than the market. So if they continue this, I think it was a really good call by Amazon. Uh, kind of frustrating for us end users, though, because we have to come back and check every day. Uh, maybe somebody will write an app that will tell us what the, uh, the free app of the day is in a widget. I don't know. Just thinking out loud here, guys. So today's free app is Angry Birds Rio, which normally goes for 99 cents. Today is available for free. Uh, and by the time you're seeing this, that might have expired and there might be a new one. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Angry Birds Rio in another upcoming video. Next thing I want to show you down here is your category bar. Now this is something that the market has a hard time displaying because there are so many categories. Well, if you take a look, this is a very elegant way to take care of that. You can scroll right and left and get to all of your different categories very easily there. Really nice. Now, instead of having two different tabs for paid and free and whatnot, there are two columns. So you can see side by side what are the top paid apps and what are the top free apps. Very nice. As we scroll down, you see quite a bit of stuff. It lazy loads in these icons, so that increases your speed when you initially load the app and initially load this screen, but it does delay loading just a little bit. Here you can see I'm on Wi-Fi and it takes just a second for them to populate. Still a very good practice if you're a developer which I do in my day job, so it's a nice thing to see that other people are doing that as well. Now, let's go ahead and move along. Uh, let's, I've already installed Angry Birds Rio, so let's go ahead and install something else. In this case, we're gonna install this zombie one. It's number two, and zombies are always awesome. First thing you're gonna notice is, up at the top, it shows you how many stars you have rated. In this case, there's five stars with one rating. The app is called Zombie Booth, and it gives you the, uh, kind of the trademark Amazon thumb, finger pointer icon thing to get the app. You've got screenshots over here, which function just like you'd expect them to. You can either save this for later, share it with somebody else. Your product description, which of course you can go into more detail. Customer reviews, very Amazon-like. And then you can submit your own review. And just like on uh, the Amazon website, you can see what people ultimately bought. If they didn't buy this and chose something else instead, you can see what that is, which kind of helps you see, oh, well, maybe I don't want to buy this one. Maybe I want to buy uh, Blow Up or Spaghetti instead. It gives you some more information about the developer, and then, of course, you can uh, report any problems and get the legal information about it as well. But let me show you the install now. We'll go ahead and get this app. Now, here's something that you'll notice first and foremost. I clicked on Get App and it comes up with this. It's kind of a nice, uh, clean, streamlined downloading and installing dialog. But you'll notice I didn't have to say anything uh, about accepting permissions. In fact, I don't even know what permissions this app is going to be using. Now, in just a minute, we'll see why that is. But I kind of like to know up front before I start downloading an app, you know, is this thing going to have access to my phone? Is it going to have access to my uh, text messages, my contact book? What is it that I'm giving up by installing this app? Now, 
Amazon says you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff because they pre-screen all of their apps before they go into the market to guarantee that they're safe. Whether they do that or not, I don't know. Um, how effective that's going to be, I don't know. But it still is kind of disheartening to see that they don't present you upfront before you've invested the time and possibly the money in downloading that uh, over your wireless carrier before you see what those permissions are. So speaking of permissions, this is the standard Android installation dialog. And it basically tells you, hey, this is about to install and it needs to have access to your storage, network communications, phone calls, and hardware controls. So now I know what this is and I can accept it or I can cancel it, but it's already downloaded. It's already on my device uh, and I've already invested that time. We'll go ahead and install it. And it says, okay. I can either open it or be done with it. We'll say, I'm all done. And now if you take a look, we've got basically nothing is in our list. I can come over here and see what I have downloaded so far. Angry, Ger Angry Birds Rio and uh, Zombie Booth. And I can open them right from here. I can see if there are any updates available for them, which they're not. I installed them both today. So that's just kind of a, a brief overview. Let me go back here to the, uh, the home screen. So if we come back, <clears throat> a couple more things to look at. We can go home by going menu and home. You can see what apps you have installed using My Apps, and that was the screen that I just showed you. The unfortunate thing about that is it doesn't see what apps are installed on the device, just what you've installed through the Amazon App Store. And since there are apps, the same apps, in both sides, the, the Android Market and the App Store, you can have some uh, redundancy. For example, Angry Birds, I've already installed that, but here it shows that I haven't because it's in a different App Store. I hope that they'll... Uh, Combine that in the future. You get a search button, which is kind of uh, redundant because you've got the search bar at the top all the time. Uh, categories, which are essentially those categories. Recommended apps, so based on who they think you are, what's recommended. And then last but not least is the more button, which lets you see the saved for later. If you don't want to buy it today, maybe if you want to wait and see if it comes out as a, uh, a free today app, you can do that. The apps that you recently viewed, your settings, customer feedback, and whatnot, all right there. Settings includes your gift cards, uh, your connection, and this is kind of what will mitigate what I was saying earlier. Uh, I can force this app store to use Wi-Fi when the app is larger than a pre-configured size. So if I want to say, hey, don't install apps bigger than one megabyte unless I'm on Wi-Fi, I can do that to kind of save uh, save some space. And I actually said the wrong word there. Um, it's not installing apps, it's downloading apps. So that can kind of help mitigate because again, it will automatically install, or excuse me, automatically download uh, the app without giving you the permissions. And it's at the install point where it says, hey, here are the, uh, here are the permissions that you have to accept before you install it. So kind of interesting. Now, the reason that it does that is to be able to use the Amazon App Store, you have to be able to sideload apps. So those of you who can't sideload, I'm sorry you're not going to be able to do this until you either uh, hack around that or until your carrier gets unstupid and lets you sideload stuff. Now, that's the other part. What you saw there when we installed this was a sideload app dialog. So all of the apps that you download and try to install through the Amazon App Store are going to install through the sideload method which again, if you've got a carrier that uh, has an IQ of a two-year-old, you're not gonna be able to sideload any of the apps that you get through the App Store. Hopefully, because Amazon's such a big heavyweight in the market, uh, they'll be able to throw some weight around and get those carriers, or that one in particular, I'm not gonna mention any initials here that might rhyme with AT&T, but, Hopefully they'll be able to throw some weight around and get that practice changed, um, at least on future devices and hopefully on current devices as well. But anyway, very cool uh, for a first app. It's it's just phenomenally well. It's well thought out. It's really good. It's got a couple things that I'd like to see addressed or changed. Uh, very good marketing and you know it just looks really nice. It functions like you'd expect it to, and we'll have to wait and see how that additional pre-screen security plays out. 
Kind of interesting stuff, but I'm interested to know what you think about this. Do you like seeing these types of videos? If so, give this video a thumbs up. Do you like the Amazon App Store, yes or no? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, give us good reasons, you know, what didn't I cover that you'd like to see? What's something that you like about the, uh, the new App Store? What don't you like about the App Store? Uh, and are my concerns valid or are they really not that big a deal? Again, comments down below. To see more news about not only the Amazon App Store for Android, but also for you know what's going on with uh, Apple's tizzy fit with the name App Store, head on over to pocketnow.com so you can stay up to date with all that cool stuff. And of course, it's not just about the Amazon App Store or even about Android. It's about all kinds of smartphones. So make sure you stay up to date with all of your uh, smartphone tech news by going over to pocketnow.com. And for Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.